first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends before watching all my railway exam videos so do not forget to do these three things so the first will be the whatsapp channel so after posting every videos on the same topic we will give you an omer question on the form of pdf so we will upload the pdf on my whatsapp channel so do not forget to join our whatsapp channel so second after posting every topic videos on the same topic we will give you two tests so one will be easy level and the second test will be moderate level so do not forget to purchase the test and after posting every video do not forget to write the both the test on my channel and the third importantly those who are preparing for the railway exam the first video that i have posted tips to crack and strategy to crack the railway exam so do not forget to watch that so after doing all the three things watch my railway exam videos so friends now in this video number seven on the railway exam videos so now we will be solving a question that is based on the concept called all cylinder so in the previous video we have solved a question that is based on a cylinder so where we have learned the formula for total surface area of a cylinder and then curved surface area volume of a cylinder and we solve some of the question finding a volume finding a height or length both are same so i have told you all this stuff in the previous video so now in this video we will be solving a question that is based on a hollow cylinder so everyone knows how the hollow cylinder will be right so when you take our water pipes gas pipe pvc pipe all those things are called as an hollow cylinder because there will be a outside layer there will be a thick outside layer so which has an internal radius as well as an external radius so if the question is like that then it is called as an hollow cylinder so for finding a volume of a cylinder we know the formula pi r square h but for an hollow cylinder so pi r1 square or r2 square minus r1 square into h so do not try to buy out the formula so understand where the formula came from so how we derived that formula that is most important here so everyone knows right how the uh, hollow cylinder looks like so okay i can draw one diagram that will seems to be a little bit easy for you okay so when you take an hollow cylinder we have two radius internal radius and external radius right that the complete thing will be external radius always when you take your books right any aptitude books and see if they are teaching an hollow hemisphere sorry hollow uh, cylinder concept always they draw a diagram from the top view why because that when you look at the same hollow cylinder from a top view you can able to see two circles yes or no this will be gap hollow complete hollow cylinder gap and this is the thickness of that hollow cylinder right so when you look at the same hollow cylinder from a top view it looks like two circle so now what is the circle area to find for, we can take this as r2 r1 radius and radius so when you take a circle what is the area of a circle formula pi r square so in the same railway exam videos we have learned it right what is called a circle and what is called as how to find this alone this area alone so how will you find it this area so total a bigger circle area minus smaller circle area so total bigger circle area will be pi r square that is 2 because the second radius minus of in, in a internal circle this small circle pi r1 square so when you take pi outside so r2 square minus r1 square so this is the formula right in order to find the thickness same formula for a volume of hollow cylinder pi r2 square minus r1 square additionally we will add h why because if it is a circle we don't have height but when you take a cylinder we have a height here that's it so this will be the volume of hollow cylinder kindly do not buy out the formula so always try to understand the formula how and how we derived it so that it will be easy and at the exam time you won't forget those kind of formulas right many students will sit and have a separate time to buy out all the formulas kindly don't do that try to understand how these formulas are derived so that's it right so this is the formula that we use to find the volume of this this is the volume right this area this will be the volume of hollow cylinder because this will be a complete hollow space so this does not have any uh, volume so this this will be the volume of uh, hollow cylinder understood friends so so now in this video we will be solving a four or five question that is based on a hollow cylinder so these are the uh, only one formula that we have for an hollow cylinder in order to find its volume right so in case if you have any formulas there is a sector right usually they will cut a 
uh, hollow cylinder into a two part which they say is as a sector so we can learn all those stuff later on but now let try try to understand what is called as hollow cylinder volume formula right so we can move on to all the four questions in this video first question a uh, hollow cylinder tube 20 centimeter long is made of iron and its external and internal diameter are 8 cm, 6 cm respectively. So the volume of an iron used to making the tube is. So our target is to find what is the volume, right? The volume of an iron which is uh, which are used to make this tube. So we need to find the volume and they have given an internal diameter as well as external. So definitely it's an hollow cylinder. Sometimes they won't say in the question itself it's an hollow cylinder. But they will give you like internal diameter has been given, external diameter has been given. So if the, these two values are there in a question then we have to decide the given question is an hollow cylinder right so if you are a beginner try to draw a diagram like this initially so once you solve more question then it is not required right so they have given an internal diameter is how much six centimeter so diameter is six then radius will be three so similarly external diameter will be eight so the radius will be four so now according to the question we have we know the radius of internal uh, radius as well as external radius so now in the question itself they have given a height right so height and length both are same which is 20 centimeter right okay so finally they have given two radius as well as they have given an height so our target is to find what is the volume of an hollow cylinder so we know the formula right so volume is equal to pi r1 square minus r2 square into h in some books they will write this formula in a different different way you can able to see that they write this as capital r minus small r in some book they write as r2 square minus r1 square so everything will be same why because uh, either you can consider this as r1 or this as r2 or r1 r2 or capital r small r whatever be but always remember that this value should not be in terms of negative right so always this value should be in terms of positive so if this value should be positive then you have to uh, square first the bigger number minus the smaller number that is the logic behind here so volume is equal to pi bracket so external right external will be 4 square minus of internal 3 square into h so height they have given in a question 20 centimeter so volume is equal to 22 by 7 4 square 16 3 square 9 16 minus 9 will be 7 into 20 so we can cancel 7 and 7 here so volume will be 440 centimeter cube that's it so this will be the answer for the first question so by using this formula you can able to solve most of the question in all those cylinders sometimes they will give you height value and our target is to find the radius or else all the radius value will be given our target is to find the height so this is the way we have to solve the question but always remember that this value should not be in terms of negative yeah, that is most important because some students will confuse by seeing a different different books with the different formulas so do not get confused right this will be the external radius this will be the internal radius only then this value will be greater when compared to this you will not get a negative sign right? so answer for the first question will be 440 centimeter cube question number two so a hollow cylinder tube 20 centimeter long is made of iron and its external diameter is 8 cm. So the volume of iron used in making the tube is 440 cm cube. What is the thickness of the tube? So just here, a similar concept question like the previous one here, our target is to find what is the thickness of the tube. That is our target. So all the remaining values they have given. Just if you are a beginner, I always uh, told you, right? First initially draw the diagram and then after solving more number of questions, it is not required. So top view of an hollow cylinder. So they didn't give you the internal radius. Actually, they have given only one value. The external diameter has been given 8. So we can say that the external radius will be 4. This value alone they have given. And then they have given the length of the hollow cylinder, which is 20 centimeter. As well as they have given the volume of that, which will be 440 centimeter cube. So all the these values will be given our target is to find what is the thickness of this tube so this value we need to find in order to find the thickness only if we know the two radius internal radius as well as external radius it is easy to find the thickness because when you subtract these two value resultant will be the thickness here but here we know the external radius but internal radius value is not given in the question so first by using the hollow cylinder formula we can find what is the internal radius after finding it we can subtract both the value to find the thickness of the hollow cylinder right so first what is the formula for volume of hollow cylinder so pi 
so capital r square which will be 4 square 16 minus of internal so internal we don't know the value take it as x square into i so i will be 20 so substitute all the remaining values volume as directly given in the question 440 22 by 7 16 minus x square i is also given 20 so they have given all the values here so we can cancel 0 0 so 22 into 2 44 so cancel 44 directly so bring this 7 towards left hand side so 7 is equals to 16 minus x square so x square is equals to 16 minus 7 so x square is equal to 9 so x is equal to square root of 9 which will be 3 so finally we got the value of x is equal to 3 this is not the final answer why because we have just found only the internal radius of the hollow cylinder right internal radius of the hollow cylinder is 3 so external radius is 4 so now our target is to find the thickness so thickness is what 4 minus 3 will be 1 so this will be the thickness of the hollow cylinder in case if they ask a volume we have to find in the volume formula they have directly given in the question itself in case if they ask a volume we have to apply in a formula so just understand what is called as thickness of hollow cylinder and what is called as volume of hollow cylinder so that is most important thickness we just need to find only the length of this external thing right so this alone is called as a thickness so external radius minus internal radius resultant will be the thickness if we need to find the volume the complete hollow cylinder volume formula will be this right so this will be the answer for question number two. Third question an hollow cylindrical tube open at both the end is made of two centimeter thick if the external diameter is 15 centimeter and the length of the tube is 210 centimeter find the volume so once they have given all the value i think so they have given the length and they have given the thickness as well as they have given the external diameter so if you know the thickness then finding radius of both internal and external is easy because just here they have given the external diameter which is 50 so we can say that the external radius will be 25 so half of the diameter will be radius and they have given the thickness also which is 2 centimeter so it is easy to find the internal radius now why because if we know the total 25 thickness is 2 then this area will be 23 centimeter yes so finally we have found the external radius as well as internal radius in the question they have given the length i think so length has been given which is 210 centimeter so our target is to find the volume the same formula so volume is equals to pi capital r square which will be 25 square minus of 23 square into this height will be 210 yes so pi will be 22 by 7 so if you know what is 23 square 25 square you can subtract it or else if you feel that the numbers are huge then you can go with a square minus b square a square minus b square will be a plus b into a minus b so a plus b will be 48 into a minus b will be 2 so into 210 so either way you can solve as per your wish so 30 so 3 into 2 will be 6 right so 22 into 48 into 60 okay so now we can multiply this 6 into 2 is at 12 remaining will be 1 6 2 is at 12 13 1 3 2 0 into 48 so we can multiply 132 into 48 8 2 is at 16 remaining will be 1 8 3 is at 24 4 2 is at 8 24 plus 8 32 32 plus 1 will be 33 so remaining will be 3 here so 4 3 is at 12 12 8 will be 20 23 will be 23 so 2 so now 4 4 plus 2 will be 6 that's it 0 so finally we have another 0 here so we can say 6 3 3 6 0 so centimeter cube so this will be the volume of that cylinder right all the cylinder so it's very easy i have just covered all the different kinds of question in case if they have given external internal how to find the volume or else only external has been given and then how to find the radius of the internal or else the thickness how to find the thickness if the internal radius has not given only by using the external radius volume and height how to find the thickness 
right? So these are the different models that we have solved in this video. So day after tomorrow, I will give you the test on all those cylinder on the test package. Do not forget to write the test. So after writing the test, just search on Google about all those cylinder question. You will get more number of questions. So try to solve all those questions and and check whether you are you can able to solve it or you are doing any mistakes there. So try to rectify it automatically. You can able to solve all the question on the topic measurements, right? So. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. So sorry for the delay for the sixth video and seventh video. Just have uh, I've taken five to six days of time. So uh, because of other uh, things. So that's the thing. It was little bit delay on posting the video. So I will be posting. Keep on posting the next video as soon as possible right so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share this video to your friends those who are preparing for the railway exams so thank you so much for watching it bye